101X, Jason Dick and friends. We're here on time. It's me. Uh, Jason is out. Uh, I am Nick. Jason Dick is out. Yes. Our man, CJ Morgan is here in Just friends. Just friends, yeah. Um, but uh, I'm talking, just friend, two friends on the radio talking about their just butts. Just hanging out, doing butt stuff. Butts. What's wrong with that, man? We were doing some butt stuff off camera, so make sure you're following us uh, at Jason Dick AF and, of course, uh, at Nick Mouth and at the CJ Morgan. I'm not the CJ Morgan because I'm pretentious. It's because some other a hole took CJ Morgan, mm-hmm. as we've discussed before on this show. Uh, we're getting some tweets in. Read me some tweets. So I'll read some tweets. Uh, John and Sam Marcus wants to know, is that why Jason didn't get a response from CJ's fiance on Facebook because she's into butts and Hank his Hank Hill ass wasn't going to cut it? Yeah, uh, we talked about that when you were on before, uh, back in the day before you and your now fiance were together. Mm-hmm. Jason tried to slide into Jason the DMs. Jason slid into them DMs at like 3 two in, in the morning, morning. <laughs> 2, 3 in the morning and said, come on. Come on, that was his line. Uh, at WCW Worldwide says, I like the idea of, quote, Jason Dick, unquote, being a character that can just be shared by any unshaven, hairy, sweaty dude during that morning hour. Oh, listeners, tune in Monday. It's like Weekend and Bernie's. Uh, we have got one of the ultimate uh, mistaken radio identity stories ever that Jason told me about yesterday that I cannot wait for you guys to hear. Ooh, I'm excited. Uh, I also just uh, put the picture of you and I doing... Um, Butt stuff. Yes, thank you for saying that for me. Up on our Instagram, at Jason Dick AF on Instagram. Just two friends in the studio doing butt stuff. Butt stuff. Uh, but you know what we need to do right now, but it's time for some... Dick Pasta gets blind to her, but he don't want to say any names. So he says, do it that day, and it keeps him from going insane. I thought that was the only female on the show. They also tell me we're not supposed to tell the listeners this, but we are doing this one for our video series. This is not your yep. video. You can find it up on the, the 101X YouTube later on today. I'll also put it on our blog. Uh, but check it out because you can see me flailing around trying to do multiple things at once. It's hilarious. I understand it. But today we're doing Day Redacted. It's a fun segment that I do to let off some steam, to vent my rage, and the idea is that we don't say who we're talking about. We just say Dear Redacted. That way I can't get sued. You, you won't get sued. There won't mm-hmm. be any hurt feelings. Yes. There won't be anyone in the building going to management. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you listen to this segment last Friday, I put uh, one of our fellow coworkers on blast because he's just not slinging them juices like I am. Yeah, I know. And, so, and yeah, he deserves now, it. He he texted me back uh, a very hate filled uh, <laughs> curse wordy text that I can't do. But basically said to come talk to him in his face, and I tried to go look and find the studio where he broadcasts from, but it must be one of those like tiny broom closets upstairs. I couldn't find you. I that, couldn't find you. That dude hugged me once, and he is built of muscle. He's oh, just sinewy yeah. and strong. Yeah, and he doesn't he doesn't necessarily look it. Plus, if you know about uh, how he loves to like party and go wild, you're like, oh, uh, no, nah, man, he's old. He's this dude couldn't handle his s. And then you touch him, and he's he's just a he's a rock. He's a brick. It's like it's like. And he's steel my cables. Rock. Yeah. Uh, and we're already, not talking about Beto, right? No, no, no. No, no. no. Okay. No. Uh, he reminds me of Frank the Tank from old school. Yeah, like, dude. Like just, yes. <laughs> that third day of the second weekend of ACL just like has a bunch of train darts hanging from his neck and just still his party and no shirt. He used shirt. to walk <laughs> home from downtown. That guy's got some stories that he can't tell on the radio, yeah. but I will say he's discovered lockup cells in places where lockup cells shouldn't exist. <laughs> And the best part about that is it turns out the guards that run those lockup cells are all his buddies. Yeah. Or not buddies, but like fans of his. Yeah. <laughs> so they're like starstruck, and then his ass just somehow gets released and walks home in a... All right, that, now, Okay, now, this is Dear Redacted. We're I'm not, we're not we talking about anyone specific. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right, uh, but yeah, first one. Tell you what, we're going to, now I'm over here. God, I love Jason that guy. Coach here. We're going to stand up and do this. Hopefully this doesn't screw up our thing. I'll squat down a little bit. Okay. Dear Redacted, for the last time, do not feed bread to the ducks, the swans, and the geese. It kills them. I didn't know that. Well, it's, it's I don't know if it straight up kills them, but they can't digest it. And so when they fill up on the bread, they can't get the actual things they need, the bugs and the seeds and whatnot. Do so not- they're, they're eating just, just bad carbs. Yes. I mean, it's, yeah. like, it's like what we do with, with white <laughs> bread. It does the same yeah, effect. Man, that's how we got our asses, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But just it, it and because what I do is I, I live in Mueller. I, I go and I walk by the Lake Mueller. The I don't know what the official pond, name whatever. is. 
and I see it all the time with people, and it's it's great. Like I enjoy seeing the kids out there, you know, the little tiny still in diapers, learning how to walk, and they're just feeding the ducks, yeah, you making do, friends. You creep. I don't know why I made it like that. <laughs> it's just it's cute. It's adorable. You know, or it's like some old old person, like that's those are their friends or the ducks, and they see them every day, and they're just throwing bread. And like, no, go get seeds, go get something, go, get grasshoppers. I don't know what the ducks feed. Feed them eat, bugs, but they don't eat bread. PSA: Public Service Announcement, dear redacted. Okay, is are, are there signs around the park that say please don't feed the ducks or anything like that? I bet Cause, you, because maybe you could just be the you could become the duck cop, the duck police. Oh no, dude! I, I am not the doing the confrontation. I, I have, dude, I'm not confronting anybody in that park, man. <laughs> Some old man's gonna waylay the crap out of you with his sack of uh, of dough. Yeah, um, no, like, because I, I, I keep my ear pods in, my head down, my hat, like eyes eyes on the ground, so I can't I can't stare at any joggers and, and get yeah. myself in trouble or, or freak them out. Uh, I don't want to disrupt any of the various boot camps or anything that's going on in there. So yeah, no. That park always has something happening. Oh, dude. But I didn't, I didn't. I know, like, there's the wives' tale about feeding rice to birds; it makes them explode. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know the bread. But that makes so much sense. So what I think you need to do is just go to like a pet store where they sell a bunch of like crickets mm-hmm. to feed lizards and stuff, and just start handing out bags of crickets to the kids, <laughs> to the old people. Just yeah. just become the cricket guy. You know, I, I, hey, sh- hey, yeah, I got crickets for you. I should get one of those vans too that has like no windows on it and yes. it's all busted and beat it up, and like the one door is the the opposite color of the rest of it, and keep all my crickets in there. Keep all your crickets and just be like, hey, yeah. I got I got candy for the ducks in here, and it's just cricket. Oh, and to man, make things the smell easier, of in that instead van. of going out handing the crickets to the kids, I can get the kids to the van mm-hmm. where the crickets are, so you can do it faster. Higher turnover, you're helping save more duck lives. That's a good idea, CJ. You're a very good Austinite. I'm you know glad. what's what's weird about this is in any other town, people would be like, oh, it's a creepy cricket guy, but in Austin, you would be like a it's hero. Like top five. Yeah, you would be like, creepy yeah, guys yeah. you could run into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember as a kid one time I was driving with my dad downtown and there was just a homeless dude on the corner uh, holding up a porn magazine and just showing everybody just like the centerfold and it was like it was like one of the trashy ones too where it's like you can see like the 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 C scar and stuff and um hey don't don't fetish shame I'm not fetish shaming at all I apologize I apologize (laughs) dear redacted um but yeah I remember just holding hold it up and I was just like I was like 12 or 13 I was like dad hang on hang on I know it's green but just wait a second I got to see this I got to commit this what to memory What is this Yeah so okay I'll put that down there be a cricket guy Cricket guy Dear redacted Stop being shaves your body parts chest Look look <laughs> I don't know if the cameras can pick this up Uh we did this I talked to uh, we talked about this well I shaved my hand because mm-hmm. I was wanting to get a hand tattoo and drive to San Marcos, and I wussed out the last second. So now I just have a hand shaved. Now I've got my chest shaved, because we talked about this, I think, Wednesday. I've got, like, this weird rash-type thing that is, is slowly getting bigger. So Razor I wussed, burn? I, no, no, no. This is there. I shaved, I shaved my chest to get a proper view of it, and I know oh, you can't see it. okay. I can see it. Here, get, get up in there. See, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Notice wafted. that I, I wafted it instead of smelling it directly. That good, way it wouldn't good job. make me pass out. I remember chemistry in seventh grade. Yeah. And so we talked about how I had this thing. I was like, I should get this checked out by a doctor. Well, uh, I got a text from Dr. Bumbelina, Jason's girlfriend. Okay. And she apparently um, has spent some time in a dermatologist's office. Like, uh, So she knows Stuff. she knows her skin things. Yeah. And so she's like, yeah, send me a picture of it. I'll check it out. And I am a very hair suit individual, as you can see from still the stomach that I did not bother to shave. Yeah. Just, just boob. I'm up. wondering if shaving it made it worse. You do have nice boobs, though. You, oh man, you've got to. I'm not. We no. got to troll okay. some listeners and make them think that. Oh, I have so many ideas I want to do. I, so many things I want to do with your boobs right now. I'm very self conscious about it. Um, I know that I have solid C cups. I really want to try to They're like. They're cute. You got good looking nips. I do have good nips. You I do. do. Have tough nips. I also found out that uh, I have. I'm a nipple twins with uh, Jason's roommate. Uh, okay. White yeah. Ranger Gipple. So if there was like a door that needed to be unlocked and it had you just it, yeah, if that's how it, our iPhones were set, I could unlock his phone. Uh, he's got like he's got a little birthmark or beauty mark on one of them. Uh, they call that, that a nubbin. Other than that, they're identical. Um, yeah, so I was sending Bumbleina pictures of my of chest your breasts, <laughs> to look of your at. Hot, hot rat. <laughs> it's like I, this literally happened yesterday morning. I was just like in the shower getting ready for work. I was like, you know what? Just just shave it. Just because I've been wanting to, to shave it so I can get a better view of it. And it's it, like, well, I can't just shave the little patch. That's weird. It almost looks like a hickey. Yeah. 
Well, uh, spoiler alert, it appears that I have a fungal infection. Oh, I said yeast infection. <sighs> yeah. Exactly. It just, ha- it's kind of what I was thinking. It's like, yeah, just go get some anti- She told me to get head and shoulders. Apparently head and shoulders kills okay. fungus. So, just, yeah, if you get that on your scrim or so grundle head, or- shoulders, and nipples. That's That should be the slogan okay. of that. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get on that. But now I just I I just shaved my entire chest, and I'm going to have a problem. And I'm gonna come here Monday morning, just full body shave. Oh, you should. I like it. Yeah, you you would. You're weird. Again, check out Jason Dick and Friends. <laughs> you're, the, you're the cricket guy. Don't give me S. <laughs> Nick Hasta gets one hurt, but he don't wanna say any names. So he says, do it. I thought that was the only female on the show. <laughs> I can tag first fight. Yeah, tune in next week to see if I'm rehab for shaving myself.